Todd with GreenRegiment.com, and this week we're still in the beautiful city of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now, I have no idea when we're going to leave because last video I said that we'll be back in the States, and we're not, we're still here. So what I'm going to do is just keep making these great smoothie videos for you, and we'll leave whenever we end up leaving, but at this point, we may never leave here because this city is so beautiful. Well, anyway, this week's smoothie is called the Vallejo Smoothie. Now, Vallejo is an interchangeable term that Brazilians use to say goodbye or sometimes even to say thank you. So once again, the Vallejo Smoothie, and you can see here, very, very simple recipe. So let's get started. Our first ingredient is one cup of coconut water. And as you can see here, the coconut water is already inside the carafe the blender. Coconut water is high in electrolytes, keeping our bodies nice and hydrated. Next ingredient, avocashi. Now, avocashi is our version of pineapple. And just like pineapple, avocashi is high in vitamins A, vitamins B, fiber, and also bromelain. And bromelain is an enzyme that once it enters our body, aids with our digestive process. So for this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and, it, it probably comes out to about a cup, but um, you're on vacation, you probably don't have a measuring cup, so I'd say three thick slices would be. Next ingredient, now you've probably never ever seen a fruit that looks anything like this in your life, but let me tell you, this fruit tastes absolutely delicious. It's called maracuja, and it's unique to Brazil. And the Brazilians use it for skincare, and uh, we can too, because what maracuja does is it helps repair damaged skin cells. So for this recipe, we're going to use one maracuja fruit. And when you cut into the maracuja, you'll end up seeing the jelly-like consistency of the fruit. And our final ingredient will be our green. And this week, we're gonna go with the green that is also unique to Brazil. This green is called Berthalia. Now, Berthalia is very, very similar to spinach in that it's high in iron, and iron helps carry oxygen throughout the body. And Berthalia, as you can tell here by the picture, uh, does grow on a very, very tall but slender stalk. And Berthalia is also high in phytonutrients and vitamins K, A, and C. So for this recipe, we're gonna go ahead and use, I'd say about a handful of Berthalia. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and blend up the Vallejo smoothie for, I'd say about a minute. Now you'll notice here that there's these small little black dots and those are from the maracuja seed. Oh, fantastic. Now I can't even tell you what this tastes like because this fruit is so unique. I've never tasted anything like this before, but let me tell you, if you ever come out to Brazil, you make sure that you at least taste a maracuja. And if you have a little bit of time, go ahead and make the Vallejo smoothie. Again, thank you very, very much for watching one of our videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share these videos, pass them around to your family and friends. A smoothie a day keeps your doctor away. All the way from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Vallejo. Vallejo. That's good. That's good. Oh. You know that's not good. There's no way that's good if you know.